Sunday, August 25th, 2024. It was a delivery day for the most part today. Deliveries were slow, uh, but I feel like I did overall the best I could. Sometimes you can't force deliveries if there's not out there, but I didn't sit around in any one place for any extensive period of time. I had an interaction with a woman tonight and don't really know how to help her, but she had broken her foot. And when I delivered the food to her door, um, she wasn't even walking. She was literally scooching herself along the floor. I asked her if she had anyone to help her. Um, she said she didn't know anyone. Um, talked to a couple of people from her apartment complex. They didn't particularly seem interested in helping. Um, so I'm not quite sure what to do. I might see if I can find a crutch at Goodwill or see if there's, I don't know, maybe someone at Health and Human Services to go check on her or something. I don't know the whole situation. I mean, she was nice and pleasant, but I mean, it was, it was really tough. It, it was probably the toughest delivery I've ever done. And, um, I had other deliveries already going on, so I couldn't stop and do much more. I, I tried what I could for uh, what was available on a Sunday night. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I should have done it. something else. Talk to my wife. It was definitely... It was definitely one of the most impactful things I've seen in a really long time. And it caused pain. Obviously, my pain is nothing compared to what she's going through. But the pain of not really being in a position to do anything of significance for her. Um, and just realizing how many other people are there like that in my community that I don't even know about. There's a lot of people in need, and she's all alone. You know, the people from the apartment said she's a loner, and now that she's in a time of need, she's she's just alone. It's, it's hard. It's painful to see that. It's painful to see other people in pain and suffering and unsure what to do. Um, so that was that was probably a bigger overarching thing to tonight than anything else I did. Got inspired on uh, another concept for a faceless YouTube channel. So I've been working on that for the last couple hours since I've been home. And um, don't know, we'll see how it goes. I'm trying. I've got now three different faceless channels. Um, one of them is completely affiliate marketing based. One of them, this one is going to be attempting just AdSense and going for more inspirational viral. And uh, the third one is still a little bit up in the air as to what exactly it will be. So um, just fiddling around. None of them have monetized yet, but I do see potential there of making something work on top of everything else that I have going on. So tomorrow is going to be my stay-at-home day. I'm a little sick anyway, so that'll be good to just stay in for a day and catch up on some stuff and plow through eBay listings and more YouTube video things as well. So let's, uh, let's just keep going, self. Don't quit. You're making progress. You're learning. You're growing. You're expanding your mindset. So... Don't, don't stop here. And um, I'm just reminded of a verse that Jesus says, uh, you will always have the poor with you, uh, but you will not always have me. And um, of course, he was talking to his disciples who physically had him there in the moment. And he also knew what was going on behind the scenes that Judas was stealing. But the truth is there that there is always going to be somebody available to help. And I need to get myself and my life to the point where I am able to help as many people as I possibly can. 
And that's kind of my driving force that I have right now from this point forward. I don't, I don't like seeing people in need and not being able to help because of my financial situation and because I'm desperately trying to provide for my family and I don't even have the ability to do anything and I don't like it. I don't like how that feels. I want to be able to just, if I come across someone in need, stop what I'm doing and be able to help them, but I just can't because I have to, I have to take care of just paying the bills so there's food on the table for my family right now. And this pain of not being able to help people in need is a driving force, um, not just a provisionary driving force for my family, but a, but a, a lack of provision for other people that I come in contact with. And I just, all it does is inspire me to just work harder and push harder because I want I want something better and I want to be able to do more and help more people that I just can't do right now. And so I'm definitely praying for her and I'm going to try to find a way to do something. I don't know if she'll be okay with it. She seemed okay. I asked her if I could research for her, try to find a crutch for her, and she seemed okay. Um, but... I don't like the pain of me not being able to help and I need to get this fixed and as soon as possible and just keep driving forward and pushing forward and praying that one of these faceless YouTube channels will take off, eBay will take off, Amazon will take off, um, or any of the other projects working on. I need something to take off and I'm just going to keep pushing hard until there's no stopping it, until it does take off because I know it's going to. I don't know when, um, but I know as long as I keep pushing, it's only a matter of time. You know, it's like a dam break. I'm just gonna keep removing one stone at a time, even if it's a little pebble. Every day, I'm removing a stone, and one of these stones is going to be the stone where everything is freed and unleashed. And I don't know if that stone will be today, tomorrow, six months from now, six years from now. It doesn't matter. I have a job to remove a stone every single day until the dam breaks, until I have fully achieved the freedom that I'm looking forward to, and that I can then take that freedom and start spreading it uh, to even more people than I am right now.